We are still a divided nation with political parties seemingly unwilling to compromise on even the smallest of things. None of us can think of a single thing we can improve on. Let's begin today's Friday show. Normally, I don't let Fridays get the best of me. Happy Friday. Time to cut loose, right? I am so excited to be working here. You're a liar. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Robert De Niro has plans to open a luxury resort on the tiny island of Barbuda. But first, he's got to help the people there recover from Hurricane Irma's destruction. The Caribbean island north of Antigua was ravaged by the storm Wednesday. Around 95% of buildings were damaged or destroyed and went completely off the grid for hours as high winds knocked out power. It's been so bad, people haven't been able to send photos of the aftermath. De Niro's vowed to help the community out, saying his paradise-found Nobu Resort will work with the Barbuda Council and the entire community to rebuild what, quote, nature has taken away from us, unquote. One of the longest-running and most well-regarded comedies on TV has set an end date. HBO has confirmed that Veep will be ending after its seventh season. The HBO series stars Julia Louis-Dreyfus as Selena Meyer throughout her crazy and hectic political career while being surrounded by her large array of assistants and advisors. For some strange reason, reporters love to broadcast live in the middle of a hurricane, even when it's not real. Really necessary. Now you can too. Are you fed up with your boring day job? Would you like to enter the exciting field of broadcast journalism? Then we want to talk to you. All across the United States, there's a daily, almost hourly need for people who are willing to stand outside in typhoons, floods, tornadoes, and hurricane force winds and do a live report on a local newscast to tell the viewers it's raining and or windy. The technical name for these people is Idiots. You've seen them on TV. Now you can be one, too. Auditioning is easy. Just stand in your shower at home with the water turned up full blast and pointing directly at your face and take a selfie. Then send it to your local news affiliate and wait for the phone to ring. That's opportunity calling at 175 miles an hour. Take your first step today into a thrilling, exciting, and potentially fatal career in television. President Trump. Trump announced a new plan to fund the government for the next three months. That's right, Trump's going to pay his taxes. Dennis Rodman has offered to straighten things out between Trump and Kim Jong-un. People were like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you know what? Let's give it a shot. Rush Limbaugh claims the threat of Hurricane Irma is exaggerated. I think it's a case of one big bag of wind being jealous of another. The Boston Red Sox were caught cheating. What? Wow, there's already rumors of a presidential pardon. William and Kate announced they're having their third child in four years. These two have cranked out more Royals than the Kansas City AAA affiliate. Time for Nobody Gives a f MTV is making a reality show where millennials have to live without modern conveniences. Not much is known about the show other than win or lose, everyone involved will go home with a gigantic trophy. Hey, MTV millennials, nobody gives a f Judy Dench says she still has sexual desires at age 82. So long, baseball. Hello, something new to think about when I want to delay orgasm. Hey, Dame, nobody gives a f And new photos reveal Courtney Love looking like a drunken, disheveled mess. If you're surprised by this news, congratulations on having zero familiarity with Courtney Love. Hey, Courtney, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, including the legendary Phil Esposito. Tuesdays and Thursdays, NSS Live.